You look like you've got something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. You? Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. So here's my question. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. The story of my life. Hello, everybody. We finally made it to the island. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my skill back on my Stingray. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to prioritize making rifle ammo for a good while. Because I didn't want to start stockpiling on rifle ammo before we get too far in. Otherwise we're going to be in some trouble. Ashley. There you are. Look at all these busy bees. I better watch my step if I don't want to get stung. Hmm, spotlights. Let's avoid those. Okay. So here's how we're going to do this. I got my scope out. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and pick off two enemies in particular. All right. There's number one. And the second one walks along this path over here. There he is. Okay, yeah, it's going to be pretty tricky to hit him with him moving like this. I can't zoom my scope in any further, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to make this work. Got him. All right. I wanted to take those two guys out because those are the biggest problem. And I think I can snipe. There we go. I also shoot off the... The searchlight from back here, and we're good to move forward. So, you guys may have noticed these turrets right here. If you walk in front of these or just walk into the laser sight, you die instantly. But it also works both ways. It works the same way for enemies as well. But enemies are actually smart enough to avoid... To avoid not taking any paths that go down there. You kind of have to kind of catch them off guard with it. Oh, I actually got more large resources. Let's go. Oh, I don't have enough gunpowder. That's fine. But yes, yeah, so we want to start stockpiling rifle ammo for the bits that are coming up. Might as well reload my striker while I'm at it. And we also have the merchant. I have some new goods that might interest you. Welcome. Now we got some good purchases that we're going to make here. First off, we want to go ahead and sell the cubic device and the lip rouge. And we also want to sell our broken butterfly because we are done with it. Now, first off, 
we can buy ourselves a case upgrade. This is the final case upgrade in the game. And now, finally, we get ourselves our new Magnum, the Killer 7. Honestly, this might be the only gun you need. Now, the Killer 7 got a massive buff compared to what it was in the original game. I don't always have this in now, stock, as you can well, see, in the original, in the original, the Killer 7 never You're had an exclusive. Chicken, they gave an exclusive to the uh, Killer7 in this, and what is that? Five times crit. This is what I saved my other exclusive ticket for. This is what I saved my exclusive ticket for. Now, this thing has a built-in laser scope, so that means... Oh, we can also max out its power. Like so. We got enough money for that. And then I'm probably going to upgrade my rifle as well. And I think that's all we can do at the moment. Just want to prioritize firepower for my things. But anyway, as I was saying, with the 5x critical rate and the fact that it has a built-in laser sight, th that means this gun has a 50% chance to do 10 times damage per shot. So it is definitely far more powerful than the Broken Butterfly just based off of crit chance alone. There's also a new treasure map for the island, but we don't need to, we're this probably not going to bother with that. I'm going to save my spinels for something that I may actually need. Come back but with the Killer 7, we're officially rocking. Get the exclusive for this, and you have just a certified boss killer. Okay. We're also starting to build up first aids, which is good. Anyway, moving on. There's only like one more weapon in the game that we haven't we haven't discovered yet, but we'll get there. But anyway, with the laser out of the way, we can go this way. Go ahead and crouch down before you go forward. Because we want to try and stealth kill the remaining enemies in this area. We don't want to have the alarm go off. If we do, then we have to fight a... Because if the alarm goes off, then we have to fight a powerful enemy and a bunch of reinforcements, which I do not want to waste the ammo for that. Can I get a treasure out of it as a result? Yes. But I feel like it's not worth it for the... For the resource expense that it would cost. It's also interesting how once you snipe those guys off at a far distance, like it, they, like the, like they just don't know you're there, because of how enemy aggro range works. I'm gonna go ahead and push that. Now I am gonna pop over here because there's actually a chest right behind this laser sight for this turret, which is a pro bangle. Okay. Red herb right here. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and break shit to find things. Now, you want to avoid the spotlight. Even if you kill every single enemy, if the spotlight sees you... If the spotlight sees you, even if there are no enemies left in this area, it will still trigger the alarm. Okay kill him let's go ahead and drop down now we just need to wait for this guy to turn around this is the last guy we got to take out fire now and now let's go ahead and shoot the spotlight up here and we're good all right then now let's just go ahead and clean this area up let's see did i already hit the yes i did I think that's everything. Well, actually, I just remembered there is a... 
box right here. Or a barrel. Now, there's not really any need to hit that laser, so... So, the way to get through here is that we need to hit the laser on that roof up there. And then we need to move this one over here. Hold on, there's a barrel on this. There we go. Boop. And by move, that one moves out of the way of the door. But the thing is, though, it kind of blocks a path, the, our path straight to it. So that's why we had to move this laser out of the way first. We can just go over this way. Hop through some windows. And bam, we're on the other side. It does kind of suck these guys don't drop anything when you kill them from as far away as we did. But it is what it is. Okay. I don't think they saw me. Alright, and the fact they're not budging means that we probably have to fight them, so... The more you know... Nope. Ain't doing that shit. No, we ain't dealing with Plagas down here. Never mind, I guess we are. Oop. Yeah, we got the head biters back. As if it opens its mouth. There we go. Shotguns are always better for those things. Got some magnum ammo too. Nope. I forget this guy just kind of runs at you. And I forgot. That's right. Wait for it. Power of the strikers to not be underestimated. I think this is the last guy. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anybody else around here right now. Good. Still got some more stealthing to do, but we're doing good so far. This guy, we can pretty much just run for him. Goodbye. He did drop a boot knife, switch into that. Pretty much just running up behind the guys here in this area. Oh. I was about to say either those were some crits, or I just, or, as, or he's gonna turn into a plaga. One of the two. All right. So, we, if we shoot this barrel right here, we can blow up a cave entrance with a chest inside, which holds a golden lynx. I think we had done a golden lynx before. Since we have just a plethora of sapphires, I'm going to fill the eyes with those. I'm not going to fill the square gems yet, though I, I, can put a, I can go ahead and put a ruby in this clock right here. All right. Yes, now we're introduced to metal shields. I don't know. How are my shots just whipping that hard? All right. Okay, I think I'm doing okay on sniper ammo for the moment. Okay. A rocket launcher? Yep. This is what we're dealing with now. 
Now we're gonna have a bunch of dudes coming towards us. I'm gonna go ahead and snipe the rocket launcher guy real quick. And then we're basically fighting. There you go. Group up. Get fucked. Grenades are also a good way to deal with uh, shields. Of course he would. Don't know how good we are at the moment. Let's see here. Yeah, there's probably gonna be some archers. I'd rather just save my rifle ammo and just take them up up close. Always seems to be better anyway. Ah, I thought I got that guy over there, but I guess not. Normally I always get both of those guys when I shoot that barrel that's right there. That's the first time I haven't like gotten both of them. I guess that guy just walked away just far enough. Out of the way. Another box right here. We're kind of getting our handgun ammo back, but we are kind of blowing through it. Alright, we got another surprise in this area. I wouldn't want to use my sniper, but... Wow, that bastard actually survived that. That just makes me upset. Yeah, we can't stealth kill these guys, unfortunately. Of course, of course, of fucking course he would. You're serious. Wow. <laughs> Bastard. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, so he's plugging as well. I guess that's fine. Present for you. Bunch of ammo. I don't feel like wasting right now. You have a lot of HP for just a fucking archer. And you're a flaga. Let's just give an archer like 10 times the HP as everybody else. We do have a expansion tre I think this is an expansion Doesn't treasure. Look like I can get in through. Here. Need to find another way. But I think this No, I think this is I don't think this is an expansion treasure right here, but we actually have another royal crown right here. Or an elegant crown, excuse me. Always good to find more crowns. Alright. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay in what I have. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and put the emerald in this baby. Alright. So I'm basically missing a purple and a red square gem. A red barrel and an alexandrite, that's right. Here I am trying to remember names. I think I'm doing alright, as long as I'm not really using my sniper ammo, I think I'm good. Which, I need to craft more. 
Bonus. Tripwire right here we gotta turn off, so just watch out for that. There's a typewriter in here that I will utilize here in a second. Now, let's just go ahead and go up the stairs, but make sure you crouch. Because just as you kind of step up the stairs here... Never mind. Uh, I thought I could delay him. Normally, I stealth this part. But that didn't seem to work this time. Because basically, if you stand near the stairs, this guy will walk over here and you can stealth kill him. And then there will be two guys. You stealth kill, kill one right here, and then you stealth kill the other one. I could have avoided using ammo, is my point. I never like using ammo when I never, when I don't need to. Got some lockers here. Got some shotgun ammo at least. We are gonna need shotgun ammo too. How am I doing? Yeah, I got a knife almost broke. It's fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, go ahead and crouch before you jump off here. And then get up against the wall behind this... This support right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just simply stealth up against here. When you see the icon on this guy, immediately go for it. God damn it. Okay, note to self, be quicker. Okay, so you guys saw that blunder. Need a key card. Yep, it's the only way we're getting in there with Ashley. Actually, can I open this right here? Yeah, I can. Cool. Okay. More Magnum ammo. I like how generous the game is being to me. It's also a green herb right here. Can make another super mix. We got quite a lot of healing. I'm actually going to make shotgun shells. Because I'm going to need them here. Tried to next stab him. Out of the way. How about no? I'm not dealing with plagas. Keep coming. All right. He says we pull a stairwell. Okay. I don't think there's anybody else. Yay, more shells.
Yeah, I think we have another save point coming up here. The amount of magnum ammo I've been getting. I want to keep it. You can open up this dumpster right here for a grenade. Got a blue velvet. Ah, yes, the good old guy in the oven. Oh, nothing but the finest ways. Oh, yeah, I knew there was something hanging right here. Just a spindle. I think it's just an expansion treasure, is what that was. All right. Let's see here. Nothing's much changed in terms of jewels. Welcome. Welcome. So I'll just sell the Velvet Blue and the Pearl Bangle. Thank you. Alright, let's just go ahead and get our shit repaired. Good luck to you, stranger. Give that the care it deserves, mate. And let's go ahead and... Let's see. You know, since the capacity of the TMP is kind of getting to me, I think I'm going to increase the Dazzle. TMP Not capacity cash, and power. Anything else I can help come back anytime. We'll get everything maxed out at this point, at this rate. I ain't too worried. All right. Get my shotgun out. Because we have entered very, very scary territory. Those of you who played the original should know what the hell's we're going to have to be doing with dealing with here in a second. Okay. Now, basically the gimmick for this area is that we need to hit that switch to swap power between one side and the other. Now, make sure you go ahead and open that grate before you do anything else do have a bunch of goodies in here. See, look, when the game's giving you first aid sprays, that's when you should be worried. Okay, we already have a red barrel. Oh, yeah, I can put this red barrel in the clock. Here we go. I still need an Alexandrite, though. Oh, yeah. It's that time, everybody. All right, now here we have a bit of a puzzle. What we have to do is we have to light up the power sources for all three of these. Yeah, there we go. For all three of the lightning icons by basically rotating these things in like, because as you can see, there's like an inner, middle, and then outer circle, and you just basically have to rotate them to line them up to give up to give the machine power. Experiments they doing here. Level one key card. Now we just need to upgrade this thing, but are you we're dealing with regenerators now running in here real quick all right fired my shotgun the moment that he tried leaping at me we can't fight regenerators with what we have right now See, now we need to swap power to the other side of the hallway. Whoa, shit. Ow! 
Ah, fucking hell. I forgot. <laughs> I gotta use the key to open the damn door. Now, once we get in here, that regenerator will leave us alone. Whew. God, I hate that. Every single time. It gives me fucking... It just gives me fucking residential health vibes from fucking Resident Evil 8. Well, to be honest, that's actually worse. This is actually kind of tame compared to that. Um, let's see. Now, we also have a more complicated puzzle here. I think the way this one is, is like... There's some kind of quirk to this one. Like one of them, sh one of them's like facing a direction you wouldn't think it would have to, or something like that. I think that one must be it. And it's like. I might have to get my phone. Oh, here it is. Because I took a snapshot of the finished solution when I was practicing this. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Okay, so you want this one facing this way. This one this way. This one this way. And then... Bam. Booyah. And what do we have here? We have a brand new weapon, the LE-5. Now, the LE-5 is a submachine gun, but the difference between it and the TMP is, well, it doesn't have that much of an ammo capacity in comparison, but it can have scopes. And it also has penetration power, the same level of penetration power that the Punisher does. So it's a good all-rounder for the most part, and the usage of scopes can be kind of handy, but I feel like you spit, you probably invested so much into the TMP at this point that the LE5 just seems kind of meh. Like, it's just a lot more investment you would have to do, which I'm probably not even going to bother, so I'm basically picking this gun up just to sell it. But it is a pretty neat alternative to the submachine gun. It's good that there's more than just one submachine gun. Alright. So, I got my shotgun out, and I think I've gotten, yeah. So, this will upgrade our key card. To level 2. But, we have to wait. You know what that means. Another regenerator to ruin our fun. Shit, again? So, we're just going to go ahead and blow his legs off. Now keep your wits about you. I won't. Okay. Woo! All right. All right. At this, okay. By this time, the key card should probably be good now. So let's go grab it. All right. All right, we're gonna shoot those legs off. Okay, that one's coming at us that way, so we're gonna take a long way around. Come on now. Use this key here, and then fucking book it. 
Do not stop. Alright. When we get past this door, we're pretty much safe. Now, we do have a section right here where we want to be stealthy. Yeah, we want to be stealthy here, but this is actually going to be... This is very tricky to be stealthy. Just because of how this guy is positioned. gonna keep circling around like a moron beautiful okay yeah cuz I know there's some stuff inside this glass here so always make sure you break it now there is a treasure right there we want to shoot down but we don't want to shoot yet Alright, now I think we're clear. More rifle ammo, which I will take. A flash. Large resources. And I think this is an expansion treasure. Yes, it is. It's another silver token. Alright. Let's see here. Alright. Sorry if I'm saying alright a lot. Damn, I'm getting a lot of rifle ammo. This is awesome. Okay. Now we have some goodies to pick up in here. Some machine gun ammo. Okay, well, it looks like I need to start doing something. I'm going to eat this fish. All right. Um, let's see here. You know what? I think I might be good on rifle ammo. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do that instead. Um got more rifle ammo than I thought I would have at this point. Some submachine gun ammo. Hand grenade. Just a bunch of things we're picking up. A lot of things we're picking up, actually. Um, let's see here. I can combine this with this. I'm surprised how much healing I have. All right, and why have we been saving up rifle ammo? Well, it is for us to take care of regenerators. How are we going to take care of regenerators? Simple. The biosensor scope. Hmm, let's see. How am I going to... Okay, I need to figure out a way to organize this. I can't craft anything. Hmm. Okay, I really don't want to do this, but I have to. There we go. Alright, now that we have the biosensor scope, we can attach it to our stingray. And what this does is it basically makes our scope infrared. And with an infrared scope, when we look at a regenerator... We can see the parasites inside of their body. Now, these parasites are what regulate their regenerative properties. So, if we start taking out the regenerator's parasites, they regenerate indefinitely until they explode. At least I think that's the lore behind it. 
And that was the Alexandrite that I needed. Yippee! Completed crown. Now we got some shit to sell. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kill all these regenerators. We see this one actually has a wrench inside of him. Now for these regenerators starting out... Ow, son of a bitch. You kind of have to be precise with your shots too. And another thing of note, there's the wrench. Another thing of note with the regenerators is that the parasites in their body basically function as like percentages of their health. So basically for each pair, like if for example, if it has four parasites, each parasite you take off takes 25% of its health off. So if you manage to get all but one parasite and you run out of rifle ammo or something, then you can uh, then then its HP will probably be low enough for you to pretty much just gun it down. Now another thing of note, something cool that they did in this remake compared to the original, is that it is possible to destroy the parasites inside of a regenerator without the infrared scope because when you damage them their insides start to become exposed and when their insides become exposed it uh it makes it to where you can actually destroy the parasites through the holes in their body now the reason why i took care of the regenerators now is because i'm not dealing with them with all this there's a guy right there who will throw fucking dynamite And these dynamite, and these dynamite, and these this dynamite that's being thrown will actually break open the cages that are holding the. Fuck! Oh, there goes my damn, there goes my damn body armor. Uh, it'll they'll basically break open the cages that the uh, regenerators are in. Uh, again with the flagas. Every time with the flagas. Nope. None of that shit. How about no? He's got a metal head, so I don't think that would work that well. No, he died. That's cool. Alright. Alright, and I think we're in the clear, fellas. Outstanding. And with that, our key card is now level 3. And we can take this pathway over here as a shortcut back to where Ashley is. But before we do that, there is something I want to take care of. And I think you guys know what that something is. Coming back up here because I want to go ahead and kill the two regenerators that are up here. Now, the way the regenerators aggro in this area, they can't see me through the door. But the moment I step outside, they'll know where I am. Okay, that's one. Yeah, the second one's been alerted too. what I fucking hate. Hate it when they do this shit. Yeah, this is why I save my ammo, because the mo mobility of these bastards makes it hard to hit them if they're just fucking sprinting like that. Booyah. 
cool. Free ruby, free sapphire. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Put that done and out of the way. All right. And see, look, all that rifle ammo I saved up, it's all gone. <laughs> Just like that. That's because I fucking hate it when regenerators do this shit. Got quite a bit of SMG ammo. Might use, probably use that for a bit. Pretty much good on everything else. Open door from the other side. And we've made it. Ashley. <clears throat> Shit. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> 